What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Tin. I'm currently a second year medical student preparing to take my step one exam. Today I want to talk to you guys just a little bit about Anki um, and why it is such a hassle to do all of the reviews. And as Anki users, I know some of your pain. I went through the same thing when you have to wake up every single day, do the exact same amount of reviews every single day. <clears throat> and I heard it described as that Anki is like a overzealous girlfriend who is always demanding your time, demanding your attention, will, will not let you up, will let, let you relax until she get what she wants, what she needs. And that's exactly what Anki is, you know, literally every single day. If you don't meet her needs, then, you know, you just feel guilty and you just keep getting badgered. You get notifications about how many cars you have to do. And it's tiring, it's tiresome. And today I want to talk about an add-on that actually helped mitigate some of this and has really changed my life for the better. And I wish I found this early on. And it's called the Free Weekend Add-on. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so a little bit about the add-on is essentially just some um, it literally just let you pick a day of the week where you don't want to schedule any cards for that day. The default is going to be Sunday and I just left that as the default. I set Sunday as my um, uh, free day. So essentially it just kind of when you hit a review card, right? Like 3, 7 days, 10 days, 15 days. If it lands on a Sunday, the add-on would just ship the cards within a few days so it doesn't land on a Sunday. So then other reviews that come back to you will not show up on Sunday. So it's just, the biggest question is that people ask would be, so will this mess up the Anki algorithm? Because you know, isn't Anki using a specific algorithm to show you the specific date that you will see the car again? Um, yes and no. So yes, it does shift this a little bit. Does it mess up the Anki algorithm? No, because Anki actually does the exact same thing. Um, so they have this thing called Fuzz, and this is uh, from the Anki webpage and the developer's page. Um, where the card, if you review a certain card on this, on let's say today, and they, both those cards happen to have the same amount of, um, <clears throat> and they kind of related to each other, and they have the same amount of later interval. So let's say you schedule both cards, you get them both right, <clears throat> and you're supposed to see them 15 days from now. Like those related cards to prevent you from seeing the same cards at the same time, will actually get shifted using a fuzz within the Anki interval where it won't mess with your retention rate. So maybe one card will be in 15 days, the other one will be in 16 or 17 days, or even 13 or 14 days. So essentially this, this add-on uses the same fuzz that Anki has. So you don't have to worry about messing up your retention rate. And just personal experience, I, I, my retention rate hasn't dropped at all since I started using the add-on. Um, it's still a little bit over 90%. Uh, and just one thing I want to point out is that, you know, don't, don't get so caught up about this algorithm, this number game that, you know, when we start using Anki, we, I, I, even I myself have kind of had, it's like, oh, I need to do all these cards like, right, right at the same day today, otherwise I'm going to forget it. If you think about it, and you remember the card well, you know the concept well, then even if you see the card a day or two later, and you know it, you should still know it, right? What difference does 3 months or 3.1 months make? Um, so just just a thought that you should have. So don't get don't be a stickler about sticking to a schedule. Back to the add-on. Uh, essentially, you can set a date that you don't. So essentially, all it does is just it won't. Let's say you pick Sunday as the day of the week, right? It won't schedule cards on that day. Um, what else you can also do with this add-on that's really neat is um, you can put in actual exact dates where you don't want to have reviews laying on there at all. So let's say you can put uh, like March 12. 2020, which is let's say my, my step date, right? Uh, March 12, 2020, and I'm gonna put do, do not schedule any reviews on there because I don't want to do Anki reviews once I finish my step. So it's actually gonna, as I do my reviews through, excuse me, as I do my reviews through our pre dedicated and dedicated, it won't ship those reviews on March 20, uh, 12, 2020. So that's really cool. So you, what, what, what can you do with this? You can set um, exam dates on your school so that you don't have to end up doing reviews on exam dates because that sucks. I remember finishing exam on school days and just going home and like, have like 800 reviews to do and it's like, 
terrible because your brain is fried. You're really tired from just taking like a three hour, four hour, four hour exam. And you still have to go home to reviews. You can't hang out with all your friends because they all go out and party. Or maybe you do go out. I remember going to, um, you know, to a bar with my friend and I just, you know, we drank and I was just trying to do an Anki while like everyone was dancing. And, and you like, like tipsy and you try and the car just does not come to you. That's the worst. You know, sometimes you just have to push it back to the next day. So this is going to help mitigate some of that. Okay, so test day, you can use it for, you can use for holidays when you're on like winter break or something. You can pick a few days on winter break or like summer breaks or like maybe a week. I wouldn't recommend a week, but you know, if you have to, then put like the whole week down and so you can have less reviews for those days and just kind of enjoy your break. Um, another thing that you do with this is that you have to plan accordingly. You can't just be like, oh, I want to take a break next week. Uh, on Thursday and then I'm gonna put the day in because that's not how it works. So let me show you why. Let me tell you why. So this is pretty uh, This is pretty much the only uh, downside of the add-on is that it only works once you install the add-on and once you start um, doing the cards. So if you never had the let's say if I started putting in the add-on now, right? And let, today was mon today is Monday. So if I do the add-on now this Sunday, I will still have a crap load of cards to do because the add-on hasn't kicked in yet. Because all the cards that all the cards already scheduled for this Sunday is already been scheduled. It won't ship it. Does that make sense? So, what if I install the add-on now on Monday? Maybe next Sunday, if there were cards that I have been doing for this week, and the then the next week that's supposed to land on next Sunday, it's gonna get shifted. So next Sunday might be a little bit less reviews than normal. But this coming Sunday probably will pretty much stay the same. So once you install this add-on, it won't take effect right away. You, I, you gotta give at least a few weeks or a month before you start noticing the benefits. If you take a look at my um, graph here, you can actually see the uh, Sunday, you know, like it's, it's much less now than before when I started. It's, uh, I was pretty much the same, there, was, there wasn't any difference. So another con that I, this might have and if, if you don't like it, is um it might interfere with Anki's V2 scheduler, so I currently don't use the V2 scheduler of Anki, so I don't know how important it is or how um you know how attached you guys are to it. But you guys want to use this add-on, it actually won't work with it because it's gonna interfere with the uh, built-in you know scheduler of Anki. Um, another con is it would not work with the load balancer add-on, which is used to be one of my favorite because. You guys don't know what load balancer add-on is. It's just it makes sure that you get the same amount. It's, so it's pretty much shifted cards around too. But it makes sure that you get the same amount of reviews every single day. So like um, you get like f consistently 500, 500, 500, 500 every day reviews instead of like 300 and then 600 and then 200 and then like a thousand the next day, depending because it's, it, yeah. So that's how the load balancer works. Um, but I found that if you just if you consistently do new cards every day, um, and not just cram, then that the lack of load balancer isn't a problem. I had to take out load balancer to make this add-on work, and I didn't really notice it wasn't too too detrimental for me. I actually prefer having one free day off a week than having the load balancer. So take that what you will. Apparently, you can use this with the load balancer add-on too, but I don't know how to really integrate them. I tried going onto the developer's web page and following the instruction, but if you guys know how to do it on Windows, let me know, show me in the comments so I can enjoy the benefits of the load balancer and this add-on too. To wrap everything up guys, this add-on has been a tremendous time saver and a lifesaver for me and it just helped prevent Anki um, burnout because just you know waking up every single day doing the same thing, doing the same amount of reviews every single day with nothing to look for is uh, demoralizing and you know personal experience. I, can, I feel I feel that I feel it deep in my soul. So hopefully this add-on will help you guys just as it helped me. Just make sure you plan ahead, put in the, the date you know of the test date that you want to take a break from the holiday breaks, holiday breaks, because um, we all need a break, right? So having I, personally having Sunday off every week is really nice because you wake up, you do I do about like two hundred um, two hundred reviews on my day off, and you have all this time left on Sunday. And I'm like, I don't even know what to do. So, you know, you can do practice questions. You can, you literally, you literally have a day off and it just feels so nice. And maybe you can do some new cards. Uh, and on my next video, I'm going to talk about uh, in conjunction with this add-on. There's another add-on that's also going to make your life 
a hell of a lot easier. So thanks for watching guys. Remember to like my video if you found this helpful. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out uh, any new videos I put out. And if you haven't checked out my uh, pre-dedicated videos, uh, I'll put in the link and make sure you watch that and follow my path, my progress through my dedicated studying. Mm -hmm. Until next time.